Well, we're back working on the 1932 Aston Martin LM8, and I started making some body panels this morning, and I was rocking and rolling. I totally forgot to make any videos, so sorry about that. Um, my son reminded me, hey, you need to make some videos, so I'll catch you up on where we are. So I got some uh, 3003 grade aluminum. The back panels are 40,000 thick, and the front panels are going to be 50,000 thick. The reason I'm doing that, these are not really structural, just kind of hung on there. The ones in the front, some of them are going to get some louvers, so the 40,000 is a little thin for louvers, it might be a little delicate. So uh, this panel's already made, trimmed, and installed. I will be trimming the bottom a little bit. It's a little bit long. Uh, we're gonna curl this under or maybe just put a 90 degree bend on it. I haven't decided. It's a little too close to the ground for my liking. You can see the floor panel right under there. Uh, it's pretty much sitting at, at right height right now. So I made this to where this back half is removable. So I'm gonna cut this piece of tubing here and the way this is installed, if you look down in here, there's actually a bolt welded to that bracket and this will slide right off. And there's another bolt back there under that, under that piece of tubing. So this whole back panel will slide off. And the reason I'm doing that, I have to be able to get to the axle fabric, I have to take the axle out. And if the body works in the way, you can't remove it. So this whole rear section will be removable. This back area here is gonna get, um, on the original car there was a goofy external fuel tank that went down here so kind of a half circle fuel tank that will be mounted on here and that'll hide the back of the motor and give a place for the exhaust pipe to come out i rolled this right this curve right here on the english wheel i just got a harbor freight english wheel over here and i've got this rubber band that goes on top of it it's designed for instead of bending in three directions it only bends in two in other words it bends it side to side instead of side to side and front to back uh, it doesn't put a, a crown in it it just puts a curve so that works really well for that. That's a two inch wheel on there. So that did both sides and I just followed the arc of this. And one tool that's very handy that I got from Ed Smoot when I took a class from him in a metal shaping class. So there's Ed if you want information on Ed's shop down in Phoenix. But these are radiuses. So this tells you when you come up to this little curve, you put on, say, okay, what radius is this? That's not a four inch. It's not quite a three inch. Hey. That is a two inch radius, it fits perfect. I want it a little too tight, so it's a two inch radius. I didn't plan it to be a two inch radius, it just worked out that way. So that's how that works. So my other panel that I'm working on here, it's just on there at Clico's right now. You can see I've got some half inch by half inch tubing that I bent on the tubing bender in the backyard uh, to create all this framework. So right now this panel is just is drilled and riveted in place. I'm gonna come in and scribe the backside with a sharp pi uh, pick or uh, scribe tool all along here and that's where we're going to cut that material away. So scribing it gives you a much more exact line than just a sharpie. Oh here's the scribe. I thought I lost it for a second so whoop. that's what I'm using to scribe it. It's just a really sharp tool so that'll be, be visible when you get it in the light and that's how we're gonna get this panel cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm probably not gonna be able to hold the camera and videotape that. So use your imagination. I'm gonna scribe all along this edge here. Excuse me, all along this edge here and make a nice groove in the metal. And then I can cut it with the shears and the hand cutters. So uh, again, guys, sorry for kind of shortcutting this whole thing and not filming the beginning of it, but this gives you an idea where we are right now on the cart. So I'm getting the whole passenger compartment done, then we have to add the front panels. Sorry, the front panels up here. And when my steering wheel gets here, I can finalize the dash placement. I'm going to adjust this, I think, to give it a bit more of an angle back. So, anyway, uh, moving on. Okay, so I've got my scribe lines. You can kind of see it in the light there. So, I'm going to come in and I'm going to wipe down the uh, with some acetone or some uh, paint mineral spirits and remove all these sharpie marks. You can see where I marked from the inside where all the, t the um, mounting points are at. And I drilled my holes every three inches trying to make them uniform. So that's where we are right now. And like I said before, this is a little on the long side down at the bottom. Once I get the panels installed and the hood sides installed, I'll decide on the actual height of that body line. I'll mark it and then we'll cut off some and they'll probably put a 90 degree bend in the material to give it some strength at the bottom there. So, or maybe just run it on the, bead or the uh, English wheel. Okay, so I got that cut made using my Harbor Freight shears and a Black & Decker uh, 
jigsaw with a metal blade. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deburr the cut. So this is a deburring tool. I got this years and years ago. It works great on aluminum and metal. Um, you just drag it along the edge. It's going to be hard to do when I'm, I'm videotaping, but you just drag it along the edge and it just pulls little, little bits of metal off of there and takes all these little rough edges out, smooths it all up so you don't cut your hands, and it makes a nice finish edge. Okay, so now I've got it back on the cart, and I've got a little bit of a high spot here and there, so I'm just taking a file along the edge of this. I'm just filing this down to make it flat against the, the frame here. So this is where your hands are going to touch. So you want this to be pretty smooth all along this entire transition. So uh, we'll get that smoothed up right now. Okay, so we made some pretty massive progress uh, last weekend on the sides and the rear panel. Uh, car's kind of tucked up against the wall here. I still have to build a fake gas tank back there. I'll do that after I've trimmed the bottom. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and build the cowl area, which last night I went ahead and bent this little tubing. So uh, that'll be for a different video. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about cycle carts, let me know. And uh, we'll have more in part two. Thanks for watching.